Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of On a Winter's Night for Travelers. Last time we left off, we were starting the slow vanishing of Lady Winter for something. The, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Winterborn, I think her name was actually. Alright, so why did you slowly vanish? Let's find out. Glass decanter with laudanum. Oh yes, laudanum. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay. There's not much left. Laudanum, always the healing item of choice in horror games that take place in the past. Like kind of in the 20s and 1800s and stuff. It's always laudanum. No. You don't want to look in the mirror? Hmm. Not much left. Nightmares, looking in the mirror. Okay. You don't want to look in the mirror. No light. It hurts. Are you drunk? These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? Draped cloth. If I close my eyes, I can almost hear. Picture frames. The window. How long has it been raining? What day is this? Uh, bed. Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Picture frame. Did there used to be faces here? You're- there, There's not now? Okay, we can head outside. I think we've examined everything in here. Yeah, I got the armoire. Bed. Okay. To the hallway. Outside? But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. What? Excuse me? <laughs> Clarify, please? But it is yesterday. Okay, laudanum. Medicine keeps the nightmare at bay. There's not much left. Bed. Noir. These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? But you just... Outside? But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it's yesterday. Okay, so it's yesterday and it's not tomorrow. <laughs> I'm very confused. Other window? How long has it been raining? Hanging cloth. There we go. That's the one thing I didn't examine. Shh. Quiet now. What? What? I thought the piano music was getting quieter as I shushed it, but uh, I don't believe that's actually the case. Is there anything else to examine here? Where do go? Oh, ball of yarn. That's what I haven't examined. Oh, it's Lord Socks ball of yarn. Excuse me, is your cat named ball Lord Yarn? Because that's awesome. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime, but where is he? Maybe he got called outside in the rain. It's hard to see anything from here. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I closed my eyes a bit while I was thinking about cats, and then the text automatically advanced. <laughs> you have a cat named Lord Socks. That's such a good name. Maybe we should look outside. For our kitty. Yes. I can't see anything. Maybe the servants know something. Have any of you seen Lord Socks? It is high past his dinner time. Probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up just in case. With this? Shh. Stop shushing the cloth. What did the cloth do to you? Draped cloth? Okay, well, no. I probably only get something out of the armoire, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even notice that ball of yarn. What was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. Haven't you been sleeping all day, though? Didn't you say that? Well, we were looking for a cat, but you seem to have forgot. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Okay, gotta have some more laudanum. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? What was that? A letter. An envelope. Let's go see what the envelope says. Alright. A letter from Lord Cavendish. What could he possibly want? Sorry for your loss. My most sincere condolences. What? Was this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? So... Someone thinks your husband's dead, but your husband's not dead. Oh, this looks like a horror game hallway. If I've ever seen one. The dogs from Resident Evil are about to jump through those windows right now. Why is everything covered? 
It's like pictures, mirror, or the mirror wasn't covered, but pictures and various other things are all covered with this cloth. Feels like it's inside my head. Can't examine it. it. Looks like chairs and stuff. Oh, was this where I was supposed to go? I don't know. To parlor. Yeah, draped cloth. A shadow, just a shadow. What? But, okay. I'm very confused by you right now. Okay, well, what's down here? Let's go see what's down here first. I... I can't remember. Some fading memory. Something not quite here. Okay, is that why you've covered them up? Because you don't have memories? Or did you not cover them up? Is that just what your mind's seeing? The housemaid should be here in her chambers. What is this? I hear voices. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. Okay. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. Alright, let's go get ourselves a hearing aid. A stethoscope. Although I don't know if a stethoscope works that way. I feel like I've done that in an adventure game before, though. I get a, use a stethoscope on something to hear in what the people inside were saying. I feel like it'd be, like, way too loud, though. Like, hurt your ears. I should check the maid's chambers first. But, what, what you said I couldn't get in. That's why I left. Oh. Uh... Alright, let's just go over here. And try that door again, why don't we? Make sure I'm not missing anything to it. Porcelain vase. A dusty vase. Or vase. I always thought vase was the cooler way to say it. Disturb the shadows. Okay, you like shadows, we get it. Need to find a way to listen to what they're saying. Uh, is there a vent or something? Okay, there's a book and a glass that I didn't examine on this table. Some moldy old book. Glass. Uh? Am I gonna use that on the door? The door itself is probably too thick, but maybe... The wall. Can you kind of hear through a glass like that? I didn't know that. Ah, perfect. Not since the conservatory incident. What about her laudanum consumption? Has it decreased at all? No, but she mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days. And I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the lock strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving. And rumors abound. <gasps> the display cabinet in the parlor. How dare they keep the key from me. I should burst into that room right now. They will deal with that tomorrow. I think I will have my medicine now. Okay, are they trying to get you... Something traumatic maybe happened to you and they've been loading you up on laudanum, but now they're trying to wean you off of it? So you can take over your duties again? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Still some medicine in my room. I can go downstairs tomorrow. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to go get it right now. You said you weren't going to bust into the room now, but... Alright. Decanter. You walk real slowly, but I guess I do in my house too. I don't really sprint everywhere. Okay. Wow, that was a visual. That was very cool. Wow. Props for that. That was an awesome effect. My favorite bedside book. Prous à la Richer de... Oh, oh god, I'm gonna butcher that. Richer du Tim's... As soon as I read two pages, I started... I start dozing off. As soon as I read two pages. Oh god. Yeah, the difference of how the world looks when you're depressed and don't have your medicine versus how the world looks when you have it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What shall I do today? I could play my harp for a bit, and maybe afterwards tea in the conservatory with a good book. It's not dark yet. I don't need to turn on a lamp. You just don't like lamps. It is so warm outside. I don't need anything else. 
Okay. There's cat hair, cat hair all over the carpet as per usual. <sighs> hey, cat hair is a blessing. Let's play the harp, why don't we? I always love seeing big harps, because the players have to basically hug the thing. It's just such an interesting instrument. Okay, I think that was gonna go on forever. The most wistful of memories, Monsieur Satie was a true master of melancholy. But right now I am in the mood for something more cheerful. Okay, what about the window? He should be here any time now. If I catch him just when he is arriving, I can usually see his automobile from here. Automobile. Some family pictures. These three over here are my favorites. Maman and I in Paris, February 1923. Maman and I in Vienna, April 1926. Maman and I in New York, October 1925. Remember I found some great records for my gramophone on these trips. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. This is the 20s too. So things are, things are pretty good. Henry protested at first about including Lord Sox in the portrait. But if I'm a Winterborn, then so is he. The Roaring Twenties. Alright, uh... Armoire, harp, window. It's been a bit since my history class is about the Twenties, and it was never my forte, but I did have one class about it. Alright, so... Got new stuff here. Mum and Dad. Oh, how they hated posing for this. They think painting is out, and that there's nothing as exciting as photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it is so lovely to have them here on the walls like old-fashioned aristocrats. Yeah. Dear Grandpapa Buvoisis. Oh, I butchered that. He believed in me when no one else did. Book. Catalog from the auction in which the vase was acquired. A classic King Hua vase from the Ming period. Ooh, the Ming period. Invaluable. Now that I actually know about. <laughs> and one of the few pieces the family can still afford to keep. The Ming Dynasty. Very interesting one. Beautiful Murano glass is a souvenir from our honeymoon in Venice. Just a personal trifle next to the family treasures, of course. But very dear to me nonetheless. I actually double majored, and my second major was uh, history of uh, uh, early Asian history. So I basically stopped when Mal took over. My little cousins from Amiens, I miss them so much. And you don't like Lamp. I hope Henry won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. Because of his business trips, we barely get any time together lately. So wait, that's not the maid's room anymore? That's the study? Okay. Interesting that that changed. If Henry makes it back in time, we should have a picnic in the garden. I'm, I'm sure we will, and nothing bad will happen in this story. A what statue? My own personal pantheon. These figures have always been a huge inspiration to me. I could not bring myself to leave them behind in France when I moved here. The plaque says, Mincine, goddess of memory and words. <laughs> Eos and Apollo. Those I can pronounce a bit easier. The plaque says, Eos, god of the dawn. Okay, and Apollo. Apollo is basically Hermes, right? Or am I crazy? Apollo, god of music and the sun. I... maybe... Mm, I don't remember... I, mm, I don't know. My Greek mythology's failing. Grandma Winterborn. I knew her in the last years of her life. A remarkable woman. I know Apollo was like the messenger of the gods and stuff, but I don't know if he was the god of the sun. I... I feel dizzy. Oh, no. I was, like, going downstairs anyway. Not sure now. Was I not going back to my room? Alright, back to the room then. What is going on with you? Clearly you have... something going on, and... As is per usual during this time period, they kind of just jack you up with laudanum and that's... that's it. I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. Okay, the colors are gone again. Our medicine's wearing off. 
At least they were trying not to do that one messed up thing that the, the doctors believed cured every single mental illness or many other illnesses. What's the thing, the weird thing with the uh, lobotomy? Yeah. At least they haven't lobotomized you. It's empty. I'll get more tomorrow from the cabinet in the parlor. Alright, nap nap time. Mm-hmm. Staring out the window. Oh, another note. Is it tomorrow? Wait, is your hair a different color? Your hair looks like a different color. Right? Maybe I'm just... Maybe, maybe I'm just... Thinking that up, because before you had, like, kind of a hair band in, but now you don't. I'm just making that up. Lord Windsor now? What is this? Deepest condolences, again. But there's more. I'm aware of the dire situation of the Winterborn family. Rumors about that precious Ming vase. One of the few pieces not yet sold. Surviving on your fortune alone. I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. Okay, so you're trying to marry me. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she has the key to the cabinet. Okay, so what's happening here is... Our husband possibly died, we're traumatized from the event and refusing to believe it. They're trying to... You know, fix me with medicine and other things. To try and get me to the point where I can kind of take over the household again. But I'm also getting, like, letters from this Windsor person that's like, Hey, I know your family's doing bad. You've sold most of your stuff except for that precious, precious Ming vase. So, you know, we should get married. It'll be beneficial. Uh, what is that? Cracked glass. Okay, so that's the glass I used yesterday. Did Lord Sox do this? Didn't we yesterday when we, like, dropped it? I can't hear anything. Seems like the room is empty. Maybe they're hiding from me. Whispering in the dark. How dare they? Okay, you're paranoid. But, I mean, they were whispering about you yesterday, but... Yeah. I just don't think there's anybody in there. Maybe the maid left? Still no. Can we go down to the parlor? Is that allowed? And stop thinking about that outrageous letter. The family's Ming vase. You'll see what I think about that Ming vase. Oh, are you gonna destroy the vase? No, it's a precious artifact from the Ming Dynasty. At least donate it to a museum! It's interesting because I'm trying to remember which one the Ming Dynasty actually was. And some of the dynasties had like... I feel like some of the dynasties had like two different names. The one I'm most familiar with is the Qing Dynasty, which was Q-I-N-G, the Qing Dynasty. That one was very, very interesting and cosmopolitan. And I feel like its name also could be Ming. Like they were interchangeable. I'm not sure though. Can't remember. Wait, I can't remember? I miss Grandpapa. Something's not quite right here. Okay, that, that one in the middle changed. Is this the vase he was talking about? Don't break it! I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as valuable as a whole vase. Potain de merde! Uh... Oh no. Vase fragments. Good. Okay. Are we going to forget what we were doing again? I imagine not this time, because we we need our laudanum. So, to parlor? Yes. Okay, we can't actually go down now. Cool. Oh, things aren't looking great. Dead flowers? There used to be flowers here. Books and more books. Here's one and another. Prophet's Paradise. Poetry. What good has it ever done? A treaty on clocks. The unbearable jargon of the clockmaker. 
without fear of wind and vertigo. I don't recognize this title. Where did this one come from? When did this come from? That's a reference to something? I don't get it. A faint ticking. Okay, the clock is covered up. Display? My medicine should be in the cabinet. There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. I don't have the key, and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing open if I need to. This is in here. I need to get into this thing. Dead flowers. Rest. Maybe later. So we need something to smash it open, probably. A fire poker? That's what I'm guessing. Only ash. This is not the fire that I seek. Oh, okay. There we go, fireplace pokers. Hmm. Yep, that's what we need. Yes, this will work. Now we now we got a weapon. I can fight off monsters. I will smash thee. Prepare to die. Boom. Thank you. Ah, everything's back to happiness land. Smell of fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtlest pleasures. That effect for when you take the laudanum is amazing. It is beautiful to look at. And the shadows and everything in this game are just gorgeous. The art is so good. Let's go check out the table clock. Yeah, I guess your hair is the same, even with the hairband in. Or it, like, tied. There's a table clock in the shape of a bust. But it needs winding and the key is missing. Okay, I need to key for that. Record player? My gramophone. So funny. Gramophone. It's always such a weird word to me. I have so many memories attached to all these records, especially the ones I brought back from my trips around with Mammon. Which one shall I play first? Three Old v Venise Dances by Fritz Kessler. Parigio Cara by Giuseppe Verdi. My New York by Mal Hallett and his orchestra. I like orchestras, so... Scandalous. What should I play after this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is music that would have been seen as scandalous back then. Maybe we'll see an ankle. Parigi Alcara by Giuseppe Verdi. Isn't it too dreamy? Alright, Three Old Venise Dances by Franz Kessler. Dum de dee dum da dum. I think I actually recognize that one. Maybe, but maybe I just recognize some of the notes. But this is not the way it happened. My trip's with mom and I need to remember. Okay, so let's go to the foyer. Sounds like the servants are talking in the foyer. But I do not need anything from them right now. And I should not eavesdrop, it is rude. But we need- oh, well no, we don't need anything from them, yeah, because we just broke into it. We don't need the key. So let's just go upstairs. To bedroom. Thank you for giving me, like, a fast travel option. That is very nice. Do we go to bed? What peculiar dreams I am having lately. Mirror? Oh, I look just fine. Armoire? It's so warm outside. Okay, so what are we doing? Through the hallway then, I guess? Are we joining here? It's weird. I keep having this feeling that Henry is in his study, but I haven't heard his car arrive yet. Must be a deja vu. That vase. Feels like it shouldn't be there. There's something else missing, but I can't remember what. The glass that we broke. Sotheby's catalog, yeah. Dum da dum dum dee dum. This is not the way it happened. There's a mom and I need to remember- Oh, We're supposed to reenact the trips. Okay. I see. I've never been too fond of this painting. It's so solemn and joyless. Henry's taste can be old so old-fashioned sometimes. 
All right, maybe the bookshelf? Maybe books, drinks by the fire, and then music? There's some interesting books here. Oh, it's just reading the books again. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to go find out how the trip actually went again. Okay, here we go. These are some of my favorite family photographs. Mom and I in Paris, February 1923. Vienna. Paris, Vienna, and New York. Really listen to the... Paris, Vienna, New York. Paris, Vienna, New York. Or wait, that was just the order you said them, but did I go in the... Do I go in the years? 1923, 1926, 1925, so... Uh... Paris, 1923, Vienna, 1926. So it's Paris, New York, Vienna. So Paris, yeah. Ah, shit, I didn't... There we go, parlay. So... Paris, New York, Vienna. When should I play first? So... Uh, so it must be this. Mm-hmm. Isn't that too dreamy? Then you should play New York. Then you should play Vienna after this and we should be good, right? Ah, shit, no! I was trying to click through the text and... Uh, damn it. What is this? Bon sang, it's so strong. What on earth was that? Wait, what? Did I do it right? Did I actu actually click it right? Record must be warped. That was it, surely. But I feel strangely lightheaded. I should lie down. Oh, okay, I guess I did do it right. I must- I, I thought I clicked the middle one again. The one from Paris, but I think I clicked the Venice one. Actually, so I did do it in the correct order. Good. And the record got all warped from that. Interesting. Alright, well, into the door we go. And go to bed. I am, in fact, feeling a bit indisposed, but something is not right here. Favorite bedside book. Proust à la recherche du Tim's Peru. Yeah. What's not right? Oh, I look just fine. My harp. Who did this? Oh! Somebody covered up the harp. That's what was different. Playing spot the difference over here. The shadow, it's... it's wrong. Oh no, meds wore off again. Draped cloth. It's slipping through my fingers. It's gone. Maybe I can sleep and dream of tomorrow. There's always music tomorrow. Okay, you're just trying to relive your old memories because you're... Depressed. Okay. Come on, Miss Winterburn. Oh, you look much worse today. Your walking is weird. Another note talking about how your husband's died. I need my medicine. Empty. Uh... Yeah, you don't seem like you're doing so hot today. We're we just gonna go down to the parlor and get it? Okay, there's more vase pieces down there. Yeah, let's go to the parlor. Come on. We got this. Everything will be a-okay. And get it. This one's quite a bit longer than the first one, too. Ah, it's still here. There is that effect. Oof. Alright, so what are we doing today? What? Oh. Where did this come from? A letter? There's a letter from Lord Fitzroy. He's a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? So daring as to propose an arrangement for our mutual benefit. I dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real? Did someone put opium tincture in my morning tea? 
This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid, provided this isn't some lark of hers. She should know who delivered this. Carl heard her earlier in the foyer. Alright, so to the foyer, new room. Yeah, this chapter is much longer than the other one, and the f the when I played the first chapter, the game actually didn't save my progress. Doesn't look like the maid is here. But I heard voices. So I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling like I need to play all these in one go, but also this one's quite long compared to the other one, so I don't know if I can. Seems to have stopped. The hands are stuck at three o'clock. Maybe I can use that key to unwind it. What key? Oh, it's the issue of Parasoir that featured our wedding. Everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Buvoisis jewelry empire, Mademoiselle Valerie Buvoisis, to Henry Winterborne, Lord Winterborne of Chetham Green. In a move seen as uncharacteristic for the socialite, whose friendships were avant-garde artists such as Germain Dulac or Fernand Leguerre are well known, she declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the Lord rumors regarding the, the loud rumors regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterborne family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love, and that moving to the calm of the countryside will be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. So you gave up your very, very rich household to come over here for love, apparently. It's chilly here. Yeah, it's because your ghost is there. Okay, the main door or the conservatory? I'm not dressed to go outside. Okay, to the conservatory it is then. Oh, I do wish to read that article just once more. What? Could read this over and over. Many were shocked upon learning blah blah blah. In a move scene is uncharacteristic. She declared her intention. Despite the loud rumors. This is marriage of love. New Year's. Oh, I do love it here so much. Why do you keep wanting to... What? Why do you keep wanting to read the article? What? Many were shocked. Engagement. Mademoiselle Valerie. To Henry Winterburn. Lord Winterburn. Move scene is uncharacteristic for the socialite whose friendships were avant-garde. England... Eh. Eh. Okay. Why, though? It seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at 3 o'clock. What- what key, though? I don't have a key. Is there a key somewhere? Clock key, there it is. Hmm. And use the key? Let's see if this works. Ugh. It is too tall. I cannot reach the winding hole. 3 o'clock it is, then. What about the one in here? There was a clock in the parlor, too, right? Yeah, table clock. Does the winding key work for that? So I guess the reason she kept reading the paper is because time was stopped. The winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Perfect, I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? Uh... Uh, uh, six? Whoops. Six? I, d I don't know. Hmm, I don't know what I was expecting. What what time do I need to set it? Do I, Am I setting that to three as well? I mean, that's the only other, n like, time I've gotten. Perfect, I can wind... Three? Hmm, don't know what I was expecting. Okay, so there must be something we need to set the time to, but I have no idea what that is. Okay, we can't go upstairs, so what I'm looking for must be here. But I'm not sure what. Is it something with the books, maybe? Oh, there was that book about the clock. A treaty on clocks. One of these awfully boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Striking as they might look, decorative clocks such as those embedded within busts or statues lack precision and reliability. Such models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. This is of course unacceptable. Well of course, unacceptable. Seven minutes, huh? So if I put 307 into you, then you'll be right? 0307. 
Is that right? Hmm, uh... Let's see, okay, so how about 0253? It is working again, the mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. And is that the grandfather clock? Is it working too now? Okay. There we go. I just did it wrong. I put 307. I'm supposed to put 253. Okay. Well then. What now? I've been getting stuck in this one a lot more. The clock is working again, just like... I'm not sure now. What was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in. The clock chimed. I ran into the conservatory. What had the little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now, about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what is going on. So do we go there or the main door? You said you weren't dressed to the main door before, so... I'm guessing here. I do wish I knew if this game saved or not. Can you... Oh! Oh, that's why it... Okay, so you do have to manually save the game. I thought it would just autosave, and that was my bad, so... Huh. I'm kind of thinking we should probably go ahead and save here. This one seems longer than the other ones, but I don't know, I kind of want to complete a chapter in episode. And now that I know I can save, it'll be so much better. I didn't know I had to manually save. I thought between chapters it would autosave for me, basically. That was my bad. Maybe Ivy will soon start climbing the wall. Uh, what about this? Bench. So many times I've sat on this bench and just let my mind wander. Yep, there you are. Your ghost appeared there. And by your mind wandering, you mean sobbing. I'm so lucky to have my very own Sancta Sanctorum. Yeah, I mean, this place is beautiful. Foliage is so thick, a tiger could hide here. Man, this is gorgeous, jeez. There you are running. Is this when you were younger? I don't know. Well, that, that wouldn't make sense, right? Because this is the Winterborn's place, not your place, so you wouldn't have been here when you were younger, I don't think. Okay, inspecting the flowers. Did I m see something move there? No, not quite here, but there's a rustling of leaves somewhere. My flowers? Camellias are so delicate with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. Table table and chairs. Hmm, must have been my imagination. Possibly the best spot in the house. What? You fell? You're sobbing. A lot of crying. What happened to you? Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea is something I did very often back in Paris. Tea table and chairs. Flower pots? Is this a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. Azaleas look lovely today. Water looks so serene. There's someone playing in the water, which is me. Hmm. Okay. Bushes, shrubbery, so the bushes, maybe. You did say you saw something in the bushes. My goodness, so many bugs. This needs a trim. A trim, huh? Whoops. I must remind myself to ask the gardener to trim this a bit. Okay, so do I not want to be in here anymore? I feel like I've examined pretty much everything here. The shrubbery, the ivy, the plants, white flowers, and the tea table and chairs, and the, sh the bushes. Possibly the best spot in the house. Okay, yeah, I think I've examined everything here. So I think we can safely leave this place. Yeah, I didn't I did not expect this chapter to be as long as it is. Because the first one it was like really short. So I was kinda thinking I would be able to get one of these done every single episode, but maybe not. I would like to keep to that though. Yeah, you're still not dressed to go outside. But what is my objective right now? <laughs> I'm looking for the maid, right? I thought she would be in the conservatory. Hmm, okay, these, these like, ghostly images that we see, I'm thinking there's maybe an order to them, because here with the shrubbery, looks like 
you're looking at something and then you like see something, yell at somebody and then like run away real quick. Here, it looks like you're washing something in the water. Blood off of something and then yeah, you look kind of sad there. Sound the suspension just let my mind wander. And here you look like you're freaking out about what you did and crying. Did you kill someone? Has everyone here killed someone? I'm thinking there is supposed to be an order to this, so we're looking at the flowers. Hmm, you scratch your head. Did I see something move there? They're not quite here, but there's a rustling of leaves somewhere. Okay, so there, yeah, there's totally an order to this. Must have been my imagination. What? Ah, that was it. Okay, so I go from there to here. There is something here stirring the leaves and suddenly a blur, a chase, the clinking sound of porcelain. Now we go to the table. So yeah, there was an order to this that I was supposed to do. Okay. Yes. And this is us remembering something that we did? What did we do? I feel like we killed someone or something. Here, a scream of pain, red streaks. Then knuckles, white light snow, hands so cold, so cold. Yeah, pond. You're washing the blood off your hands. Oh dear, no. Okay, water's no longer screaming. Then where is the sadness coming from? Right here. Right? It is stronger here. Oh boy. What is this sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. But these sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. And the water, I could have sworn I felt... Wait, what is that? Seems there's something at the bottom of the pond. Uh... But I'm not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. Something to help you drag it out? Okay... Mm, not sure what. Can we go back and get the fire poker again? I don't know, maybe. Because I'm not sure what else would help you drag it out besides, like, a chair. Tea can wait. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the foyer and then see if we can grab another fire poker. Hmm. Or the hat stand. Umbrella, umbrella stand. Yeah, I guess that is it, huh? This should work. Oh, no, just the umbrella itself. I thought we were going to grab the whole stand and use that. But, yeah, no, umbrella makes sense. Okay, at least I got to the right solution anyway. Alright, pond. Prepare to be defeated. We're gonna find out what in the world happened with you. Oh god! My lord, my dear lord! Is that a... What happened to you? Who did this? Did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? Help, I must find help. Lord Socks. Oh god, it was your cat! Oh, Lord Socks. You did it! We saw this! Help, I must find help. You killed Lord Socks! So are all the people on the train gonna be someone that's killed... something? That's taken a life, basically? Because yeah, you were looking for Lord Socks, and then when you finally found Lord Socks, you grabbed him and... ...held him down, choking the life out of him, and then went and washed the blood. Okay. You were angry, probably. Oh, that's... that's messed up. This ha there has to be somebody here. There has to be. Okay, you're looking at the paper and crying. 
Hello, can anybody hear me? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? And this is not the Parasaur. It's the Loveland London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chatham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. As the car in which he was ri riding rolled up towards the driveway of the Winterbourne Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed out on the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, no. Henry dead? This is absurd. He's here. He's... He's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home. But he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me. That's it. He must be in the study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. Okay, we're starting to piece this together. So the reason you were angry with the cat, you probably came in and throttled the cat because you see the cat that you see it as the cat's fault that Henry died. And our medicine's wearing off. We gotta go. Okay, yeah, we're starting to piece things together here. Uh huh. We're still interested about the train. What is the significance of the train? Okay, over here, the heavy- Henry study, the heavy door. Henry? Are you there, Henry? Henry? What have they done to you? Oh, and the meds have completely wore off. Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while, but I'm here now. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left. And I had such dreams, such terrible dreams. But I've found you now. And I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. I just need one more sip of my medicine. And I'll come back for you and take you home. You're going to Paris, my love. Oof. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is why you were looking for your husband on the train, too. This story is very interesting so far. I had a bit of trouble with some of the puzzles in this one, but once I got past that... It was much easier. Wait, why are you translucent? Why are you opaque? Why can I see through you... ...the things on the ground and the pictures and stuff? Is that intentional? That feels intentional, right? Like, you are opaque now. Huh. Was it always that way when we came into messed up not on drugs world? There's the mask. Another one of those awful letters. No, it's an invitation. To a masked ball? How delightful. Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. That must be my mask, then. It's so beautiful. Ugh. You still haven't got over the trauma of losing your... ...husband, and yeah, you died. You didn't hang yourself. How did you die? It must be overdose? Because everything... But now I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. Okay, and he must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? Interesting, I've been asking myself the same question. I'm sorry, and you are? Apologies, my name is Jordan Samuels, I'm a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have surely brought a coat with me, yet there seems to be no cloak room anywhere. I have attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, they do not seem to be bothered by it. I cannot explain it, but I feel like I, we, should not be here. What do you mean by that, Doctor? Where else do you reckon you should be? I'm not sure you would even believe me if I told you, ma'am. Oh, don't worry about that, dear. If you only knew how much these old eyes have seen. I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Please, sir, I... I think we all wish to hear what you have to say. Oh, I for one most definitely do. 
Very well. I guess I should start at the beginning then. I've been working late into the night. Okay, and there's our next chapter. The Nameless Ritual. So... Can I... No, I don't... No, I want to... Uh, 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 can I... The save menu... Ah! Uh, damn it. Damn it. Okay, I don't know what that stuff at the beginning said, but I was trying to pause the game and save here, but I don't think you can pause the game until you're actually able to walk around. Damn it. <laughs> so I just skipped that text while trying to... Was it tab? Alt? Space? Uh, no. I think it was escape that brought up that menu so I could save. Alright, I guess we're doing a little bit more. Gallstones. Well, this surely indicates that... Excuse me, Dr. Hayward. Yes, Mr. Lowell? Why are you talking to the janitor? <laughs> now, now, boys, calm down. Dr. Samuels, you were saying? Oh... We're a black doctor. And these guys are being massive, massive assholes. Gallstones. Yes, from the first glance we can infer that... He doesn't look like a doctor to me. More like a hoodlum. Keep an eye on the scalpels, Dr. Hayward. We don't want him to stick us up. Yeah, he could rob us blind and disappear in the shadows. Ha 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 ha. Jackasses. Ooh. I'll bet he's stealing material from the infirmary. Yes, to sell it to whatever criminal elements he is in cahoots with. Check his pockets, Dr. Hayward. Some supplies have in fact gone missing lately. See, I knew it. Let's search him. Somebody hold him. Oh, this is awful. The nightmares are getting worse. With every day of fasting, I felt my will slipping further and further. But the day marks the 33rd day. Tonight I can complete the ritual. I must carry out the final preparations. There is no time to lose. Those buffoons. So they will know what I am really capable of. Oh... Alright, well, this appears to be our next chapter, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here, because I'm pretty sure this video is about to be like an hour long, so... There we go. Alright, so, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Four Nights... Why do I always forget the name? Why do I always forget the game? On a winter's night for travelers. There we go. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time.